Alright then guys, how is everyone doing? It is Robbie T here, back with another video for you guys today. And as you can see, this is the most, possibly the most embarrassing F1 quick race I have possibly ever done in my life, as you can see from the title there. And you're probably going to be wondering, why is that the case? Well, I was recording this quick race on F1 2011 with Paul DeResta in his Force India at the British Grand Prix. But, after recording it, I found it was probably one of the worst races I've ever done in my life. And in this video, I'm going to pretty much show you guys that whole race. I was a bit stupid to put default setup on, I'm not going to lie. But that's because I thought that if I put a full setup on, then the car will be OP. Turned out, it made it worse. So in this video... One, there'll be a lot of raging, so disclaimer there. Number two, there's something extra at the end of the video, after this race, which I will show you when that comes. And many other things. So, Jensen Button is on pole position in his McLaren Mercedes, so good qualifying from him. There we are in 15th, and our teammate Adrian Sutil in 18th place, down there a little bit further behind. So... Let's get this race underway, shall we, and see how embarrassing this really was. So we're waiting for the five red lights to go out for this race. And away we go for the British Grand Prix. Coming towards turn one. We go wide, hit the bollards. That's just great, isn't it? Just Already there's something wrong with the car, and we've only got past turn one. We go right round the outside of a few cars here. The A, I have none of it. I hit a Caterham. Sorry, Barry Kello. Caterham trying to overtake me. That's not looking good, is it? But we're up into P17. Actually, we're down. We're down to P17. We lost two positions over that. Trying to go around the outside of room with Barrichello. That doesn't work. There goes a Caterham around the outside. I think it's Yano Trilli. As we go right onto the grass. And our tyres are covered in grass already. We're not going to go side by side through cops. I'll back out of that. Trilli, you can have the position there. Oh dear, Maldonado's behind us. I do not like this car at the moment. Look how much understeer this car is giving me. I don't know what's up with it. We're getting on Trilly though, so we're going to overtake him again with the Force India straight line speed that we have. Had a decent engine in 2011, so it should fault us there. We're back up, to, up into P17, but unfortunately, everyone else seemed to be pulling away, including the Williams ahead of Williams Barrichello, so this is not going to end well. End of the first lap, and Button still leads the race, so well done to him. And now we're skipping on to lap number two. Through Max and Beckett's. We go very, very wide. Because this car doesn't... It literally is turning like a speedboat. On ice. With bells on. And Maldonado almost overtook us there. Now towards the end of lap number three. You can see that we're, li we're, nearly, a we're, ne we're, ne bleh, we're nearly three seconds down on Michael Schumacher's time. He does a 130. And we've done a 133. Wow. This is not looking good, is it? Okay, so we're going on to the end of lap number four. We're going to say a quick lap. It's not by much. 132.8. That's still not quick enough, though. And now we're skipping later. Lap number five. We don't get Cops Corner right at all. And Pastor Malnado is actually going to try and overtake us. Even though he's so much slower. But according to the game. He's quicker than me. And I don't know what's going on here. But this car is letting me down. Look how far ahead everyone is. From 16th place onwards. This is just embarrassing. So far. As we come into the pits. For a mandatory set of prime tyres. Into the pit lane. With our slow pit lane speed limit of 37 miles per hour. 
And I'm not looking. Look, uh, I'm I can't speak so far. I was about to say. I can't even remember what I said. What's going on? That's how frustrating I'm having, guys. I can't even remember what I said previously. So we decided to go on to prime tyres. And we're going to try and catch up to the guys ahead. We're down to P22, so that's not very good, is it? We must be ahead of one of the Marussia's of Timo Glock. Not, not Marussia, Virgin Racing Team cars, Timo Glock. And also one of HRTs. That's not a good XL turn one, so these tyres are stone cold. At least that's something good about this game. Is that a bit more realism in how t cold the tyres are when coming out of the pits? Skipping on to the end of that number six. Hopefully, we have jumped some cars in the pit lane. We can't get that final corner right because this car is literally a boat. It's not even a boat anymore. It's more like. It's more like a sl a sleigh sledge or something. It's, it's more like a sleigh that can't turn with orange paint on it and a Formula 1 driver inside it. That's what it is. That's literally what this thing is. Okay, we're up into P18, but I'm still don't understand why we're so off the pace. It's literally embarrassing as I completely demolish that corner. The only thing I can do at the moment is try and catch up to anyone. And we still haven't beat our previous best, so... This is not looking good, and I'm actually thinking about... Doing something a little bit different with this race, because I'm not catching anyone, so... What am I going to do? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that has not just happened. Come on, car! Drive! Just drive, for goodness sake! Oh great, we're minus one lap down of fuel now. We go onto the grass and the car just spun out for no reason. See, later on the lap, it's happening again. These tyres are not gripping. These tyres are worse than the first set we put on. And they were option tyres. Oh, sorry bollards, don't mind me. We're going to have to come in, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're going to have to come in back for another set of option tyres. I can't drive like this. That means we're going to lose even more time. Even more time. Come on, Force India, give me a quick stop, please, because I'm so fed up of this car. It is a piece of rubbish. Coming into the pit lane. What's the stop going to be? 5.2 seconds. That is absolutely awful. I'm sure pit stops in 2011 was around the 3.5 era or something like that. 5.2 is ridiculous if you're not changing the front wing. Okay, we're coming out the pit lane now, and we're down to P22 again. Great. So, what's going to happen now? Hopefully, these tyres are better, and they, they are immediately better, but they're still not quick enough. Mark Webber must be in the race. He sets the fastest lap with a 130.144. That's still like two seconds off my time. And I know I'm in a midfield car, but come on. I can't be that slow. That's ridiculous. Uh, sorry, corner. Wasn't supposed to cut you there. I mean, look at this car. It doesn't want to turn. I go on full lock on my analog stick. And, oh, oh goodness me. No, no, no. It's all going wrong. The Force India is against me. I've just damaged my front wing as well. That put the ice on the cake. What else could go wrong this racer? Huh? Tell me, what else could go wrong? Yep, that. That. Oh, come on! What is this car doing? <coughs> no need to do that. I'm coughing in the cockpit because this car is making me sick. Oh, I'm doing a spin around. Oh, bye bye, Weber. Hope you win the race because you love this track so much. We're being lapped. Oh, sorry, Rosberg. Move out the way of everyone. Who's coming next? Hamilton! Hamilton! 
Oh, I see, Lewis. Back to your old tricks again, huh? Sorry, Bawemi. Oh, my word! This car doesn't want to drive! It just spun out on a straight! <sighs> this car is ridiculous. I can't keep it on the track! What's going on? I'm opposite lock everywhere! Oh, my word! No! Uh, the car's gone again! I know which fuel mix, but... <sighs> I mean, come on! Cut me some slack here! I'm down last place, which is great. Oh my word, the car's getting worse. Why don't I just end my race? Because this car is its ridiculous. How can I turn properly in this car without it spinning out of control? I mean, look! Even when I go, not even, half lock. Just, oh look, Massa said the first lap. 29.9?! Wow, that's a quick lap. That is quick for Felipe Massa, and it proves how bad I'm driving today. Go on, everyone go through, because I'm going to finish dead last anyway. Okay, we're going to let you guys back through now. Through goes Weber. Now, our target is Lewis Hamilton. I've got a little bit of a plan up my sleeve. Oh. Sorry, Jensen. Sorry, Jensen. Don't know why he dropped a third place there, but I've got a plan up my sleeve. And this is uh, very familiar from one of Hayden Gallis videos, or Gallis Games videos, on F1 2014, Rags to Rich's career, where Lewis uh, deprived him of a championship. That's all I can say. And there he is right there. Come here, you! Okay, Lewis, you spun out. At Wait, what? How is he still going? I spun him completely out. Right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pay you back for that, Lewis. Oh, he's got, got away. Great, 20 second time penalty. Don't give a damn about that. Weber's won the race. My car is all over the place. I'm gonna cut across the cane because I can. And we're gonna finish in dead last. Oh dear, what am I, what am I doing? I, I, I've crashed out my teammate. Sorry, Sutil. I'm a terrible driver. I should be sacked immediately from Force India. And shamed in a public humiliation centre. Or whatever. And that is how not to drive F1 2011, guys. But that was just awful. 40 second time penalty. Wow. And that's for the crashing with Suto as well as Hamilton. So, Weber won the race. Massa second, Hedda Button, Rosberg, Vettel, Alonso, Schumacher, Petrov. And you can see all the rest. But now I've got a job to do after this embarrassing race. Okay, so, I'm at Abu Dhabi, I'm driving as Lewis Hamilton's firm rival for 2011, Felipe Massa, and I'm going to show you guys how to take out Lewis Hamilton at the corner that he ruined Hayden Gillis' championship for 2014 Rags to Richard's career. This is how you do it. Anyway, let's try again. This is how you do it. So you go up to which fuel mix and you get a lightning start like what I've just got. You barge Hamilton to let you know let let him know you're there. And you just try and get up to first place. As you can see, Button knows what I'm up to, so it just gets out of my way, because the AI are that dumb. So you use their dumbness to your advantage. And now we're in the lead. Now we just pull away in the first sector. But stay in which fuel mix, otherwise the AI will just close up to the back of you. And then what you need to do is you go down to lean, so you can back the pack up in the second sector, and you go as fast as possible until you reach the corner where Lewis Hamilton and Hayden Gallis had their altercation that ruined the, what, what each other's championships. If you remember, if you're sub to Hayden Gallis, you know what happens. I can't spoil it for you yet, but what I can say is that it was Lewis Hamilton's fault. So I'm going to do Hayden Gullis a favour here. And I'm going to give Lewis a taste of his own medicine with his firm rival Felipe Massa that I'm driving with. And see how he likes wrecking championships. I'm, I have no hate against Lewis Hamilton, but 
I'm doing this for Hayden Gullis. That's all I'm doing this. This is the purpose of the end of this video. As I let Jets the button through. Now I'm going to let the two Red Bulls through. Oh, Sebastian Vettel and uh, Mark Webber. Go on, guys. Off you go. Go. Go, Webber. Go, Webber. There's Hamilton. Right. I'm coming for you, Lewis. You're going to the wall. Did they get him? Did they did a good job there. Yep, I think I got him. I think I got him. See, Hayden? You need to do that in an F1 2014 Rags to Rich the sequel finale. You need to do that. To give Lewis Hamilton a taste of his own medicine. For what he did to you last time out on F1 2014 Rags to Rich's career. You should have won that championship, not him. I just spoiled it now, great. Anyway, end of the race now. We're just trundling away with a blown up engine, kind of. Button's won the race, so well done to him. And that, guys, is the end of the video and how you take out Lewis Hamilton at the corner where he ruined the championship for Hayden Gullis in his Rackstrich career season something. I know it was an F1 2014, I can tell you that.